Hey, this is Rick and welcome back to my channel. It's Mared 58. Now, what that is, is it's Dreams Backwards and the number 58. Hey, look, I'm sorry it's been a while since I put uh, one of these DIY videos out. I've had some health issues going on. So I wanted to go ahead and get this out um, while it's time to start maybe getting your plants together, your vegetables together for uh, spring and summer. And I've been reading a little bit on some different things. And because of my health issues, a lot of times when you're trying to grow your vegetables and stuff like that you've got to bring soil into the house and it causes a mess uh, might cause problems with your uh, significant other whoever that may be and it creates a lot of dirty situations and if it spills it makes a mess so I've been looking at alternate ways of doing this I have been growing with um, hydroponic um, back in the day I used to grow with aquaponics which was fish waste you can check my other videos on that but I have a big bag of this perlite and I'll, I don't know if you can see it there but it's, uh, it's a great big bag and it maybe only weighs like maybe 10-15 pounds and you get a great big huge bag for like 14-15 bucks. Perlite I, I believe is like a volcanic rock if I'm not mistaken and it's really really light. Um, here's some right here you've probably seen it in some flower arrangements that you may have bought um, you know for Mother's Day or or just a plant that you bring home and it's really really light almost looks like styrofoam so I was having problems with um, germinating uh, seeds in just the dirt like I talked about you can't use hydrogen and these are hydrogen pellets this is also used in aquaponics because the seeds drop inside there and they'll drop into the back of the water and then your seed will drown and the seedling won't grow so I was looking at other ways of maybe being able to grow seedlings without making a mess. So that led me to the use of uh, using perlite. And I thought, well, why not? Give it a shot. So here we have our perlite. And then I was thinking, well, how do we do this? And we still stay with the hydroponic theme. And, uh, you know, just grow with nutrient solution instead of having um, your dirt or your uh, compost and things of that nature. So I saw something online where people were using these ball jars. Well, I have a bunch of these when we can stuff in the summertime. And I thought, well, let me try to use them. And, of course, they come in all different sizes. So you want to use the ones that are wide mouth. This is it here. They have like a three-inch wide mouth. You've probably seen them in like jelly jars or something like that. You can use them and then just obtain the ring. So here we have a ring. And what you want to do is you want to buy these net pots, a three inch net pot, like this. You're going to fill up your net pot full of that perlite and it drops in there right like that. Now you probably want to get the larger perlite. This is a smaller perlite. It may come through the net pot. It's not going to hurt too much, but you'll probably want to get a larger coarser type of perlite so it doesn't drop in. And then you take that and you secure it like this. And now it's got a nice install. So you'll put your nutrient solution in there right about this level. You're going to want about maybe an inch or two air gap in there. This is called the Kratky method. That's K-R-A-T-K-Y. Kratky. And if you research that online, you don't have to have a bubbler or anything mechanical going on this. Your seedling will start to grow out of the top of this. The roots will seek the nutrient solution, which will be in the jar, like right here. And as long as you have an air gap there, you'll be able to get air in that will feed the roots also. So I was thinking, well, why don't we try it this way and just go ahead and try regular seeds. So you drop your seeds in and just bury them just a little bit, like a quarter inch on top there with the perlite, cover it over, just water it, and let it go. So like I said, as this plant starts to grow, you're going to upgrade your jar. You may not need to upgrade your jar. You may be able to go with just the one you have there, and it's fine. Now the only thing you're going to need to do now is you've got daylight coming in here. If you're going to leave it on a shelf or you're going to hit it with uh, your grow lights, um, then you want those roots to not be exposed because if they're exposed, you're going to grow algae in there and everything and that algae is going to attack your nutrient solution. It's going to change the characteristics of it there and it's also going to go after your root structure. You want nice clean roots. So you want to cover this. You're going to get some felt, black felt, or I've even seen online where some people will use tin foil that they could wrap tin foil around there. I just didn't like the way the tin foil looked. So I got a piece of black felt from one of the fabric stores and I cut myself a section like that. And you're going to wrap it right around like this. And you could do a couple different things if you want to. You could put a piece of tape there in three sections to hold that, or two if you have a smaller jar. 
or you could use rubber bands and that'll make it nice and tight or you could use those um, metal clips that you get like with ace bandages or something and they can come off real easy this is real easy to take off and you can see that your water level is going down and you add more nutrient solution to it so that's the theory behind that and that's going to make a nice clean setup you can use as many jars you want you put whatever plant you want you can do seedlings from seed in that perlite and then once your seedling gets larger to where it's a little more stiffer you can change out to the hydrogen pellets, which are basically clay pellets. You can put them in your net pot, then you don't have to worry about anything coming through there. And it's the same theory. Your roots will come out the bottom, they'll grow into that nutrient solution, and your plant will grow up here. These are nice because they're a little heavier, and they'll keep that structure of your seedling growing nice and strong till it becomes a nice plant. You can use um, cuttings in here in this type of setup. Um, like I said, you can start your seeds from scratch. Whatever you want to do. If you want to, um, you know, do your orchids, uh, your house plants. You can make this decorative. You could maybe get some other kind of a, you know, a design on the outside here if you want. If you don't like that, and it'll be a nice, clean-looking install for your plant. And it's pretty cheap to be honest with you. It doesn't cost you a lot of money. The only thing you're going to have to come out of pocket for is some kind of nutrient solution. And if you're not familiar with nutrient solution, it will be a liquid based fertilizer that you're going to put into your jar and your plants will feed off of that. And these are kind of like worry free. As long as that level is kept up there and your pH is right, then you'll be able to just walk away from this and your plants will feed on that nutrient solution until it goes down to nothing and then you got to replenish it. Nutrient solution solutions aren't that expensive. Um, you can go to your big box stores. Uh, I believe there's general hydroponics. Um, then you, some people will use worm tea when they do their um, worm castings and they add some other stuff to it like bone meal or um, fish meal or blood meal. Uh, you can pick all that stuff up at your big box store too. So that's it. And then I'll go upstairs and I'll show you my seedlings actually growing out of this perlite so that I'm not full of a bunch of crap. Okay, so here we have on top of the cup you can see the seedlings have broken through the perlite and we're on our way you can either leave them on your little shelf or put them under a light whatever it is you want to do but that's how you can germinate in perlite the next step what i'll probably do is you can remove these seedlings out of here if you want to and you can put them in hydrogen or into the net cup or you can put them into the crack key setup that i showed earlier it's entirely up to you and what you do but i just wanted to show they do work and they do sprout in perlite and just perlite by itself all right well hey thanks for watching please subscribe that subscribe button should be right down here in the corner go ahead and click that you never know what i'm going to put up next uh if i put any links up let me know if the links are broken because from time to time different um sellers will change their links whether it be ebay amazon wherever i'm showcasing so that's it take care